darlings, you know that I was not going to tell you. I got my hands on the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush once. And today I'm gonna give you my full review. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them on my cheeks side by side comparisons. And I'm gonna be comparing it to the OG Glow Gossam Blush ones. me really well i had to pick up the four shades of red on these new pillow talk matte beauty blush ones and we are very familiar with the glow gossam beauty ones they are called the high blushes because they are a hybrid between a highlighter and a blush and although these two products they had been so viral for the last year or year and a half a lot of people too were not very fond about them. Some people, they were like, I don't like them. I don't wanna use them because they do have that little bit of a highlighter effect that if you have enlarged pores or fine lines or textured skin, people were like, mm, I don't really love them. I love the shade, but not really the finish of it. So I'm super excited for this product from Charlotte Tilbury. Again, it comes in four different shades, made in Italy with 0.4 fluid ounces, and they cost, I think, $42 each. They are available right now at Charlotte Tilbury's website, but I'm sure they will be coming at other retailers. I will be leaving all those details on the description box below, along with the links for your convenience and easy shopping, as well as the rest of my makeup. Absolutely everything will be, again, on the description box below. And if perhaps it's your first time shopping at Charlotte Tilbury's website, I do have a 15% off Again, it will be detailed on the description box below. Let's go ahead and get it started with swatches. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go first with Pillow Talk Pink Pop. I love this packaging. I don't know, I feel that it just looks so feminine and this is the perfect timing, I think, also to launch this product as we can closer to Valentine's Day. Now the shelf life, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but it's of 12 months. Oh, these are so Pretty. I love this matte finish. And if you're wondering about if it's the same size as the Glow Gossam ones, yes, they are the same size and the same amount of product inside. And also the same type of dispenser, very easy. The top, you just twist it and if you twist it on one side, it will be on or off, basically open or close. Okay, let's go ahead and start squeezing it out. Oh my gosh, I squeezed out too much. <laughs> my goodness i went overboard slowly go slowly don't don't do what i did let's make sure i close it and first let's swatch it on my hand oh that's a pretty shade and if you're new here to my channel i film in natural light and i don't have any bronzer right now i just have my foundation and eyeshadow if you're wondering what eyeshadow i'm using I got my hands on well both of the new eyeshadow quads from Tom Ford. So tune in if you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe because I will have my review on both of the quads fairly soon. And I also have my review up on the new Natasha Denona Love Face Palette. So if you haven't watched it yet, I already have it up on my channel. So this shade is very pretty. It's actually I think a tone that will work for light to medium skin tones. Medium skin tones can may be able to pull it if you're on the lighter spectrum. But this is such a pretty shade. And it doesn't look super matte. I mean, it's, there's no shine to it, but to me, it's more like a natural finish. If I was Charlotte Tilbury, I wouldn't have called them mad. I wouldn't have called them, I mean, just liquid blushes. I mean, like, because look at that. It looks very natural. And I'm taking it also on my enlarged pore area. I don't have any powder on. And also in the description box below, you will find my foundation matches. I do have enlarged pores right here and I don't see that this blush is emphasizing them. Let's go for the second shade, which I'm super excited for, is Peach Pop. You know, my friends, how much I love a peachy tone. Although I have a pink eyeshadow today, I know pink will look the best as far as blush with the eyeshadow look, but I, oh, I cannot resist a peach tone. Oh, this is so pretty, so pretty. I love also that the packaging is different. Let's go ahead and open it and 
Okay, I'm gonna be more gentle <laughs> this time. Oh, there you go. Just a little. We don't need a lot. Okay, I'm gonna press a little bit more. I think I'm gonna... A little bit more. Okay. You know, more than peach, I feel that it's a coral tone. I don't feel that it's truly peach peach, you know? It's just a little bit corally, to my point of view. And definitely, I mean, like, I'm applying it with my fingers right now, but you can apply these blushes with a brush of any kind. I'm just trying to be... A little bit faster and just show you how easy they are to apply. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. Definitely a little bit more intense. And when applying it, I can definitely see that peachy undertone. But it has to have a little bit of pink to be Charlotte Tilbury. We know her. And that's, that's what I'm saying, that this is more of a coral tone which I'm not as upset for at all and whatsoever. It's super pretty. Pink pop and peach pop. Now let's move on to pillow talk, which is the traditional kind of like a dusty, almost mauve tone. Twist and squeeze. Twist and squeeze. <laughs> there we go. Wait, let me just swatch it. Oh, this is such a beautiful shade. I haven't shown you how to fly directly from the wand. You can just press a little and just dab dab. Oh, this is just so. Victoria's Secret Angel vibe. So Charlotte. So Charlotte Tilbury. Yes, darling. Mm. I love this one. It's so beautiful. And the very last shade is Dream Pop, which is the deepest one. Ooh, okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's see. Too much? Maybe. Oh, that's red. Well, like a raspberry red, I should say. Okay, that's enough. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's very red. And I apply very little amount, and that's super, super red. Let me just go with a brush. This is a BK Beauty 106 brush. Definitely you can use also the same brush that you apply your foundation with and that way you can just... Okay, that was so easy to blend. I was just very concerned because it looks... It looks intense on me. Pillow Talk and Dream Pop. Now, in terms of comparisons, I do have Pink Gasm and Peach Gasm. Let me just swatch. Going with Pink Gasm first. I'm going to just swatch it right next to Pillow Talk. And you can see it has kind of a little bit of a metallic -y kind of finish to it. And it's not super deep. In fact, to me, this specific shade reminds me a lot to... Uh, Nars Orgasm. Yeah, that's such peach gasm. Okay, definitely this one correlates more to Peach Pop. Is that the shade? The new shade? I think it's Peach Pop, right? No, it's not Peach Pop. It's actually Pink Pop. That was the first shade that I swatched. Pink Pop. Peach Gasm looks more like Pink Pop. And I think you can see right there how Peach Pop looks more coral. I went ahead and removed Dream Pop from this cheek and just apply a little bit more of Pillow Talk. You know, my friends, I love, love, love this palette from Charlotte Tilbury. It's her Beautifying Face palette. And we have here this shade Pillow Talk. 
and we also have this other blush so let me just go ahead and swatch them right next to pillow talk the cream one so you can see the shade and determine whether it looks alike or not and then this shade is more like true pink so i'm just gonna put it down here because i don't even feel like it's more cool tone it doesn't even match this or this shade i also have the beautifying face palette in deep this one right here so let's swatch swatch i'm gonna just compare it with dream pop okay this has a little bit more of like a terracotta tone okay the lighter shade looks in other words with comparisons what i think about this new blushes from charlotte tilbury gorgeous <laughs> what else what else should i tell you they are just so beautiful they do have a lot of pigment and a little goes a long way so definitely the two deeper shades pillow talk and dream pop they to me they will work for those with deeper complexions perhaps dream pop more than pillow talk but Pillow Talk can extend really well for those with medium to tan complexions and then for those with tan like in the deeper spectrum to deep and rich definitely dream pop they do carry so much pigment so a little a tiny dot goes a long way if you want to get the most out of the pigment then apply it with your fingers if you want to just feather it out a little bit more use a brush and then if you want to tone it down highly suggested to use the same brush that you use for your foundation or otherwise a beauty sponge but the shades are gorgeous too i really love that they are unique and different although i have to say that i wish that the peachy shade was a true peach and not too much of a coral but let me tell you that when you apply it on your cheeks then you can really see that peach undertone of the blush now one thing that i wanted to see because when i was removing the blush from my cheeks i noticed that there was a stain so i do have this makeup eraser here it's completely dry i'm just gonna pass through okay you can see that they stain a little bit now i'm just gonna wet it if i just have this handy <laughs> this is the shantikai pure rose water let's see there is a stain and that's exactly what i noticed on my cheeks so there is a tiny bit of a stain meaning that i mean after scrubbing really well you can definitely remove them but i really feel that these are going to be long lasting so if you're looking for a blush that it will last you throughout the entire day these i'm pretty sure they will another thing too is that don't be afraid because they say that they are mad to me they are honestly not mad they do have a natural finish and in fact it makes my cheeks look very very healthy because as i turn you see although they have yeah well my my fingers you see my tips are stained but let, let's use the other hand there's no transfer you see that although they are there there is a little bit of this subtle juiceful glow but without glitter no shimmer i mean completely different from the glow gossam ones that they they are a hybrid that they are a hybrid of between a blush and a highlighter so i'm really happy with my purchase if i will have to rethink about it obviously i wouldn't have get this one because it is just a little bit too deep for my skin tone but hey who knows as summer approach i may change my mind i know i'm gonna get the most use out of this shade and as we are gearing into spring and summer these two shades oh yes <laughs> they are absolutely gorgeous okay my friends and this makes it for this video i would love to know from you are you excited for these new pillow talk matte beauty blush ones have you picked up any of them or which one you have it on your wish list let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i would invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell because you don't want to miss any of my uploads if you want to be on the know 
of whatever is new, upcoming, back in stock, early access, make sure you come and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. It's so, so super important because that's the only way that YouTube will know, hey, this is a great video with great information and we want to recommend it. So I will greatly appreciate if you can kindly and please give it a thumbs up if you have liked it, if you think it has been informative and it has helped you in any way, share with family and friends. And if you're not done watching my content, I will be leaving a couple other videos right here that I'm sure you're going to love. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.